Hello friends, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to see the critical path method. So how to find out the critical path and the critical duration. So this is the most important for scheduling any project. So that is a critical path. So the simply we can see the path containing the maximum duration that is called critical path. Okay, so that is called project duration also. So for example, we can take any uh, network path. We can take like this. So in any project, we having a different path available to uh, complete the activity. For example, so this is a network path. So it's a network diagram. Okay, so we can uh, name it as this A activity, B activity, C, D. Here is E activity. Then is the F activity and G activity. Okay, so these are all the activities present in the project and uh, every activity having the duration. This is uh, for example 5 days, this is also 3 days, this is 5, this is uh, 6, this is 10, this is uh, 7, this is 5. Okay, so these are all the uh, activities having the different duration. So now we can find the different path. So that is a uh, uh, path. First path is A, C, F. This is a one path. Then second path B, D, F is another path. And B, E and G is another path. Okay, so now we can take A, C and F. Okay, so we can take ACF that is 5 plus 5 plus 5. The total duration is 15 days. Okay, so the project, uh, if you go like this, the project will complete in 15 days. Okay, B, D, and F. So the uh, value will be 3 plus 6 plus 5 equal to 14. Okay, so the in this path, having the 14 days to complete the project okay so next path b e and g so that is 3 plus 10 plus 7 that is equal to 20 okay so now the path containing the maximum duration is b e g okay so now b e g is the critical path b e and g is the critical path okay so if case any delay happening in the b activity or E activity or G activity, the project entire duration will be delayed. Okay, so that's why we are call it as critical path. Usually we are saying it's a critical. So critical means it's a very crucial one. So in case we are doing any delay in the B, E or G activity, the project entire duration will be delayed. Okay, if case we can take C activity, it will be completed of 6 days. Okay, so for example, we can substitute C activity as 6 days. So here we can take 6. So here we can take 6. So the total duration will be 16. But the project will be completed after 28 days. Okay, so before 28 days, we can't complete the activity. So that's why here we can take uh, E activity as a 11 days okay so now we can substitute e activity is 11 days here 11 days so here also 11 the total duration will be 21 so the project completion uh, duration will be 21 so that's why we are uh, taking as b e g as a critical one okay again we will see next video thank you